Hi everyone, this is Callie Rasmussi, Collections Manager at the Bennington Museum, welcoming you back to another Tour at 10. And today we are here in our Gilded Age Gallery and we have one of my favorite recent acquisitions from the collection. This is a memory wear tower made by Stephen Chapman Warren that we purchased in 2015. And it is just so cool, it has so much going on. Um, Stephen Warren was a farmer and a jack of all trades um, up in West Hartford, Vermont, in Windsor County. And memory wear, which is uh, what this is, it, it, usually it's small jugs or little flower pots, small items with little mementos stuck in them. So if you come and look at this, this has little shells, it has buttons, uh, there's a subway token in here, there's a little cross. Um, so all of these things that might have had sentimental value for the maker of the object and they would be put onto this one um, item to sort of create a memento or a memory wear as it was called. Now as I said usually these are small things. This enormous tower and this comes in two pieces. This tall um, part actually comes off. The bottom part here is hollow and it's much larger than normal memory wear. And it's even got like little accordion keys down here, little crystal, um, more shells, little tiny buttons. And what's really remarkable about this is, you know, first of all, the size and also the design of it. It's not just entirely random as memory wear often is. It's got a, a design to it. So this sort of looks like eyes and a mouth. And then it has a staircase going up the side, and then this wonderful spiral staircase with a little observation deck on the top too, which is just absolutely marvelous. And all along, it's got more little shells and crosses, more piano keys. There's a glass eye around here somewhere as well. And one of the, the wonderful things about this particular piece is that the maker put this little card in here so that we actually know who he is. So the card is for S.C. Warren in West Hartford, Vermont, and he has the year here too, 1894, which is why we were able to track him down, which is amazing because often with things like this, uh, this type of folk art is often completely anonymous. So you have no idea who made this, you just have this wonderful item. Um, and in this case, we know who he is, we've been able to track him down, and we know a little bit about him. We don't know what inspired him to create memory, memory wear towers like this, but we do know who he is. Now, this, this is unusual. And over um, last year, last fall, I happened to be up in the Northeast Kingdom, and I went to the Old Stone House Museum in Brownington, Vermont, which is where Alexander Twilight had his school. and. I was absolutely dumbfounded when I walked into one of their galleries and they too have a memory wear tower. Theirs is a little bit different. It is a, a more, a larger square thing. It doesn't really have a tower. They call it a button palace and it has the head of um, President William McKinley on top, which would date it to around the same time as this tower. And I have a not very good photograph of it. But this is what theirs looks like. So this is President McKinley's head, and it's also covered with buttons and shells and little coins and tokens. It has a door. Their door opens up, and there's a staircase inside of it. And one of the things that I particularly loved about their tower is that it has the original table on it. And underneath the tower, on the platform, there's a, a, a groove, a circular groove, and then there's also a groove on the table and there are marbles inside that groove. So the whole thing spins around. It's like it's on its own little lazy Susan. Our tower, unfortunately, does not have its original uh, table, if it ever had one. So we have it displayed on a table of the, a similar vintage um, from the, this is a little earlier, it's from the 1870s, but also Victorian. Uh, the table is from a local home, the Bradford residence over on East Main Street. And this is how something like this would have been displayed in a Victorian parlor on a nice table, somewhere where you could walk around it and admire it. And it would definitely show off uh, the Victorian Morris Moore aesthetic, which is 
definitely what's going on here. Um, I, later this, this year before we open, we are gonna be moving the memory wear tower down into our lobby for an intro display, which is really, really cool because up here, I, it's it, it tucked into a corner and I think it's going to really, really shine downstairs. So we're really excited about that. Hopefully you can come in and see it in person when we reopen April 1st. Thanks.